Yay! We ready? Good morning. We appreciate y'all being here. It is an exciting day for senior citizens, one that we have waited and waited on. We finished this beautiful addition that will expand our services back in the spring. And so today we finally get to cut the ribbon. I'm Susan Hancock, chair of the board, and we have lots of um, hardworking board members here with us today. So if y'all just raise your hands, I saw a lot of you. Yay, <laughs> give them a hand. They're so uh, part of responsible for this. So we want to welcome Mayor Van Johnson, who's going to be on our program in a few minutes. We appreciate him being here, as well as um, a lot of special guests. Um, we're grateful for the many individuals, companies, foundations that funded this new home for the Ruth Bick Center and the Learning Center. We could not have built this multi-thousand square foot addition without the community support. And of course, we wouldn't be here without our contractor, Matt West, and his team. Thank you, Matt, at West Construction Company. John Kern and the team of Kern and Company. Thank you, John. And Lila Kreitz and Jeff Cole, who um, spearheaded the fundraising efforts and were so successful. They're both here with us today, and we're um, excited to have them. So we're going to move on with our program and to give you a few... Um, pointers about the new building um, is board past board chair and co-chair of this campaign Jeff Cole thanks uh, thanks Susan and, and don't believe the weather it's a beautiful day in Savannah Georgia today with the center uh, as Susan referenced the new center would not be possible without tremendous community support our community needs what senior citizens provides help in making sure that we all age successfully. We need a place with more room for older adults who want to take part in the lifelong learning of the Learning Center and more room for fragile older adults who need care at the Ruth First Beck Center. But most importantly, with the growing senior population, we know we desperately needed a place that would serve as a beacon to everyone that this is a community that cares about its older citizens and that Senior Citizens, Inc is where they can all turn for help with the goal of aging well. We're fortunate to live in a caring community, and I want to thank my co-chair, Lila Kreitz, and our committee, Ellen Bick, Dolly Chisholm, Trey Cook, Marty Thomas, and Pam Young, for leading the work for tapping into that generosity. We appreciate everyone who's made a gift to make our dream a reality, but we'd like to recognize a few special donors who made leadership gifts. Gulfstream Aerospace Corporation and the Bick Rothschild Foundation, as well as other leadership donors who you can find in today's program. <laughs> Senior Citizens, Inc. is a special place focusing on helping people age successfully. Uh, on a personal basis, SCI has benefited my family for many years. My grandfather, uh, Abe Kowalski, was a client of Ruth Bick Center many years ago. My parent, both my parents and my in-laws have enjoyed many fascinating lectures at the Learning Center. And I've enjoyed many provocative board and committee meetings here at Senior <laughs> Citizens. But, but, I'll, but seriously, look forward to partaking in the many and varied services of SCI in the years to come. It's now my pleasure to ask the Honorable Mayor Van Johnson to come forward with a few remarks and to make a special presentation to Patty Lyons, President and CEO of Senior Citizens, Inc. Thank you, Jeff, and everybody, good morning. It's amazing to me that sometimes, even in the midst of very cloudy days, that I'm reminded that there's still sunshine on the other side. And as much as this community has endured, in some cases suffered, in some cases lost. This community, this resilient community, this Savannah Strong community has found ways still to be able to thrive. One thing I'm definitely reminded of is that one thing we all have in common is that if we don't make it to the cemetery, we'll all age. And as I got out of the bed much slower than I did yesterday, 
and had to sit and reset a little while longer. And as I looked at uh, the paper and I had to move it back and forth and back and forth and then have to remember where I put my keys. We are reminded that we are, and what makes us good is that we are an aging community. We call it institutional knowledge. We call it strength. And as we have oak trees that have lived hundreds and hundreds of years, we also have people who have seen this community through its best, its worst, and then its best times again. So I'm excited here today because I see the sun on the other side of the clouds. I see that in the midst of this, Senior Citizens has found a way, $5 million later, to be able to make sunshine happen for those that need it the most. And again, we all will be, if we're blessed enough, we will all be in a position where we will age. And we will all be in a position where we will need these services. I particularly thank Pay Lyons for um, taking on a role with us that we'll be announcing soon as it relates to how the city of Savannah better communicates, better advocates, better engages uh, with our aging community. Uh, I'm glad to see Alderwoman Estella Shabazz from the 5th District is here as well. Good morning, Alderwoman Shabazz. So that being said, and I don't do a whole lot of these because I believe that proclamations need to be uh, for things that are extremely significant. And so we turn now more than we actually approve, but this is absolutely appropriate. And it is a proclamation. And it says, whereas Senior Citizens Incorporated began in 1959 with Harley Morrison's vision of providing nutritious lunches to 13 older adults. And whereas from that humble beginning, grew a private, nonprofit organization with the mission of helping people age successfully, keyword successfully. And whereas Senior Citizens Incorporated has provided a variety of services that meet physical, intellectual, and social needs, including meals on wheels, transportation services, personal assistance in the home, senior volunteering opportunities, adult day health services, and lifelong learning opportunities, and whereas Senior Citizens Incorporated, with the help of hundreds of dedicated volunteers, and everybody, just point, point, point at somebody. Yes, yeah, all, of, all, all, all of us, all of us. We assist more than 10,000 older adults and their families each year. You should clap right there for that. <laughs> and whereas already recognized as a national leader in providing services for older adults, SCI anticipates doubling, everybody say doubling. doubling, its impact with the opening of the Center for Successful Aging. Now, therefore, I, Van R. Johnson II, Mayor of the City of Savannah, do hereby proclaim this day, January the 8th, 2021, as Senior Citizens Incorporated Day in the City of Savannah and urge every citizen to take today to honor the programs this organization provides the seniors they serve, and the staff and volunteers who care for them. And witness whereof two I've here, here unto set by hand and caused the seal of the city of Savannah to be affixed on this eighth day of January, 2021, signed by me and, and attested by our clerk. Congratulations. Thank you. I will give you the elbow, I right? <laughs> I, I, I owe her a hug. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That means so much to us. We are a 61-year-old organization. We're technically a senior ourselves. So let's get started with what we all came here for, which is to cut the ribbon. So as our ribbon cutters are coming up, um, I want to just say so many people, as you've heard over and over again, have worked to make this possible. And we couldn't have them all up here. We didn't have enough ribbon. We didn't have enough space, even though we've added 30,000 square feet. <laughs> um, but representing those various sections of people, we've got Susan Hancock and Jeff Cole, who you've already heard from, and Lila Kreitz. Mayor Van Johnson, Matt West, who's representing our, he was our contractor and the fabulous people at West Construction. If you come on up, Matt. And I want to 
say a particular hello to Buddy Jacob, who has been our on-site person for throughout what seems like an eternity to finally get it uh, uh, here. But I also invite John Kern to come up. John is with Kern and Company, and they have been working with us for years through the looking at the original building and trying to envision what we needed and what it would look like. And it's because of their engineering and architectural prowess that, that we are here. So are we ready? We're getting there. OK. So with that, I invite you out of the cold inside. We've got some um, goodies for you, as well as we'd love to give you a tour of the new space. And um, just so you know, we're saving our ribbon and we're going to frame it and put it in our new building so we can always remember this day. So thank you for being a part of it. And with that, for the first time ever, I can say welcome to the Center for Successful Aging. Please come in.